Hello everyone. In this lesson, we are going to look at the nature of regression analysis. By the end of this lesson, you will understand the very nature of regression analysis. So what is regression? Regression is the study of the dependent variable on one or more independent variables with the aim of estimating or predicting the mean of the dependent variable in terms of the known or fixed values of the independent variables. We can exemplify this regression analysis using the Galton's universal law of regression, where Frank Galton was interested in finding out how the average height of sons changes given the father's height. In this case, Galton uses the known values of the father's height in order to predict the average height of sons. Therefore, the height of sons becomes the dependent variable, whilst the father's height becomes the independent variable. So an econometric model exemplifying this scenario can be of the form y equals beta 1 plus beta 2x plus u, in which case y is the dependent variable which represents the height of sons, which Galton predicted. And x is the independent variable which happens to be the father's height whose values were known and used in the prediction of the average height of sons. We can see also the U parameter present in the model, which represent unobserved factors. And these are other factors that can also affect the height of sons, but are not included in the model. And some of these factors could include mother's height, nutrition of the sons, or the health status of the father. Now, there are some terminologies that we need to look at. In an econometric model, we are familiar with the terms dependent variable and independent variable. However, there are other terms that we use to describe these two types of variables. So the dependent variable can be called explained variable, while the independent variable can also be called explanatory variable. So if we go ahead, we do have predictant against predictor, outcome, covariate, regressant, regressor, controlled variable, and control variable. Now, let us look at the differences between simple and multiple regression analysis. In simple regression analysis, we are looking at one dependent variable regressed on one independent variable. So for example, Y in this particular model can represent consumption and X can represent income. So here we are looking at the effect of one independent variable, which is income, on only consumption. In multiple regression analysis, we are looking at one dependent variable against two or more other independent variables. So an econometric model to exemplify this case is what is shown on the screen, where, for example, the dependent variable can be consumption and the independent variables can be income, wealth, population, and others. So in this case, we are just simply looking at how two or more independent variables affect the dependent variable. You have also been seeing the unobserved factors in an econometric model, which is represented by the U parameter. So we said this U is called the unobserved factors, which represent any other factor that can also affect the dependent variable. Now, these unobserved factors in an econometric model can also be referred to as error or disturbance term. In the next lesson, we shall look at the significance of the stochastic error term that we find in econometric models.